What's going on everybody? So I'm back today not to talk about a horror film, but to talk about a new release film that I am I was really looking forward to see when it came to the theaters, but I didn't get a chance to catch it. And I did finally get to watch it at home and I really loved it. And the movie I'm going to be talking about today is Emily the Criminal. Emily the Criminal is directed by John Patton Ford. Emily, who is saddled with student debt and locked out of the job market due to a minor criminal record, gets involved in a credit card scam that pulls her into the criminal underworld of Los Angeles, ultimately leading to deadly consequences. So I'm a huge fan of Aubrey Plaza. I think she's an incredibly talented actress and I feel like she was uh, early on in her career typecasted in a lot of roles where she played like the quirky weird darkly comedic girl who like was the same in every single movie and now I feel like with movies like this and Black Bear and even Spin Me Around she's getting kind of pushed out of that comfort zone be a little bit more versatile in the roles that she picks and this movie was really great. I was really impressed with Aubrey's performance. She just really does an amazing job at playing this character who early on in the film she's taking this job interview and she's talking to this guy and he like pulls up her criminal record. She had a DUI. He like asks her to explain her DUI and she goes through it and he's all fine and then he pulls up that she had an assault record on her charge and she kind of is taken aback by it and gets really upset at like hey if you were just going to ask me about this why are you bringing this up and then we're shown that she works this kind of shitty job contract work for like a catering business and she goes and delivers food to these different businesses for catering. She's an artist who wants to get in doing graphic design work or something. She's friends with this girl who works for a graphic design company who's constantly telling her that she's going to be able to get her a job somehow but she never seems to follow through with it. And so one day uh, one of her co-workers asks her to take a shift for her so he can go to his son's baseball game. And he's like hey if you do it I'll hook you up with something where you can make like an easy 200 bucks. And and she's like, okay. So she texts this phone number and shows up at this place. They make her give them their driver's license. They photocopy it. And it's this essentially credit card scam ran by Theo Rossi, who was in Sons of Anarchy, who does a really great job in this movie, who explains like, hey, you're going to go buy one of these TVs and like a Best Buy. We're going to give you a credit card. You're going to swipe it. You're going to take it and load it into our car. And we're going to give you $200. And that's it. And so she goes in and she does it. She leaves. And the guy says, hey, I've got something a little bit more complex for you but if you come back tomorrow and do it, I'll give you $2,000. And so the whole film is Emily getting introduced into this world and kind of falling down the rabbit hole of doing things for these people so that she can get herself out of student debt. And it's really a fascinating look at what links to get out of debt, but also at the same time just how evil you know, these universities are for charging an arm and a leg for people just to get a college degree to where you can't even get a job in most places. And if you don't have experience or that, they won't even take you. And it's really a fascinating look at that. Like I said, Aubrey Plaza's performance is absolutely amazing. I think the chemistry she has with Theo Rossi in this movie is really great. The two of them really do an amazing job. And this film builds tension really well. Uh, it kind of tells you the stakes early on from like the really little crimes that she commits. And when things start getting more elevated it becomes even more intense to where things start to bleed into her own personal life that just make the danger feel that much more palpable and I really was appreciative of that and I feel like this is definitely a movie that was really slept on when it came out in the theater and I think that people should definitely give it a chance it's a super brisk like hour and a half runtime and it's a really great crime thriller that I think that if you're looking for a good time and you just want something fun to watch you'll definitely get something out of this I really love of small scale character dramas that spend their time really fleshing out one or two really good characters and that's what this movie does. I was really surprised to see that this was, was this director's first film. I think he did a really amazing job and I look forward to seeing Aubrey Plaza take more roles like this because I think that she did a really great job kind of stepping out of what we normally know her for and doing something really grounded and down to earth and this was really an amazing movie that I think if you check it out you'll really enjoy. So have you seen Emily the Criminal? Did you love it? Did you hate it? Leave me a comment down below and let me know what you thought. I thought this movie was great. It was super entertaining and engaging and fun and I really look forward to seeing what Aubrey does in the near future. As always, if you can like the video and subscribe to the channel, it helps me out a lot and lets me know the type of content you're looking for. I'm always putting out new material and look forward to getting more out for you in the near future. As always, everyone, thank you so much for watching and have a great rest of your day.